Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Pokemon Quest. And today we have ourselves a couple Pokemon. I'm just gonna open up right away a Mulligan Stew. That should be nice. And we're just gonna try to level up some more Pokemon, have some fun that way and see what ends up happening. I mean, you know, it's our best bet. We could try to just continue leveling up our current Pokemon and of course seeing if they can't tackle another level in World 12. I mean, at this point, I know it's a little slow getting through everything, but I mean, that's just sort of the name of the, the game at this point is just to continue training more and more and more. We got Hapa a la Cube, that'll be a fire type, which is cool, and it is a Growlithe again. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, we can just use that for level up training like we're doing everything else, so that's a Growlithe. Very good. His skills seem to be pretty normal, so nothing I need. And then right here, we have ourselves finally a final Mulligan Stew. Maybe this will have a double Pokemon, that'd be pretty cool. It has another Ponyta. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna take this Ponyta, we're definitely gonna use it for level up training for somebody, I don't know who. But yeah, there we go, there's something done, which means we can fill those cooking pots back up and we have more Pokemon we can get in two more rounds. So that'll be pretty nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Oh, one more time. Auto set that up, start our cooking. Go to this cooking pot and uh, set this up. So I'm trying to, of course, just get to the end so that we can finally get some of these rainbow shells. That's what I've been really, really looking forward to, but it's just been so tough to get there, and I'm hoping that sooner or later we can just keep on earning up the skills. I know I've been using the same team over and over again, but I feel like this team is definitely the strongest I have, and it's just a matter of leveling them up enough so that they actually get us a victory. And beyond that, on the side, I've just been trying to, of course, uh, get ourselves some new Pokemon for a Pokedex, but I feel like if anything, maybe I could uh, switch out Blastoise for somebody. You know, I've trained him up a lot, but maybe there is a sort of better candidate for the job. Maybe we should go back to Alakazam. I've been meaning to try uh, Machamp a little bit. I feel like he would be fun. Right now, he's a little far back in levels, but that's why we play as him a little bit to see what ends up happening. And then I could also level up Diglett because we got that new, um, all right, the Doug Trio because we got that new Diglett. So we got a couple things we can do with that and I definitely will start doing them. So we got our Doug Trio and then I'm pretty sure this Diglett didn't have anything too crazy, but we'll double check. It's not shiny. It didn't have any must have skills or anything. It had uh, Mud Bomb and Mud Slaps, nothing crazy. It has a decent amount of uh, Power Stones. But what do you have? I mean, I think you have Stealth Rock, which I really, really like. And then you also have uh, Rock Tomb. Hmm. Okay. I mean, maybe it's time for a change. Maybe I should go for it. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, I just already have so many Pokemon with uh, Mud Bomb. I would just rather get you to level 74. I think that's going to be a pretty good idea. Okay. So what do we end up getting for that? I'll probably eventually trade out this move for something better if I can. If I just you know keep on getting a lot of diglets, it'll eventually happen. And we almost have your third bingo bonus, which will make you a much more powerful Pokemon, I think. And then we have a ponytail. We're not saving that for you. Instead, we'll be putting that on our uh, Rapidash. So this ponytail, what do you have? Because honestly, I don't really know if we should start. Okay, you just have Flame Charge. The user stores a power of flames, raising its damage deals for a while. I mean, if we wanted to, we could just try that. I know I know, it's sort of a silly idea, but it could work. I mean, does that have Sharing Stone capabilities? I think it does. Like, that might be a good idea. Like, what do you have? You have Agility, and you have Flame Charge. Maybe I should keep this lower level one. I mean, 87 is better. I think I'm gonna go for that. I mean, we get Ponytas multiple times an episode. I think that'll be a better idea. Because at least this way, I could put three Sharing Stones on this and make her Pokemon crazy powerful. We get an extra Health Stone, not exactly where I'd want it, but that's still pretty good if we could get another Health Stone sooner or later in the next couple of levels. That could be a big change. So maybe that's just a better idea. Anyways, as you can see, we have ourselves a level 87 Rapidash. Before it was like only level 60 something or 70 something, so it's a big jump in the right direction. And then we have a Growlithe, and this Growlithe has what? Again, you have the Flame Charge and you have the Flame Thrower, which I don't really like the Flame Thrower as a move. So I think we're gonna stick with our uh, Arcanine. But I will double check just to make sure. If we take, take a look at the Power Charms, only problem is you don't have many Power Charms. I mean, you have sort of the same, but you have Ember, which I think is a little bit more of a reliable move, so we're gonna, yeah, level up train you a little bit more and see what we can get done with that. So move you back, 
Going to get this level 79 Growlithe and get you to level 66. That is a good eight level jump, so that's good. So let's go ahead and do that, and that'll get you a damage turn, which means you have our, your second bingo bonus, which is always good. Okay. The only interesting thing now is that like I have a level 100 gold bat. <laughs> it's weird that I do, you know? It's just odd. Okay, well. I mean, I could try something like this. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'd just be better to try level 100s and just like see what they end up doing for us. Just have a team of all level 100s and just sort of make as big of a splash as we can. Because you have Aurora Veil. The user closes itself in a veil of light, reducing the amount of damage it takes for a while. Like if I just put triple sharing stone on that or two sharing and then like one of the green stones, which improves the effect, that would be really crazy, wouldn't it? I wonder what's better. Is two of the greens and one of the blue or two of the blues and one of the green? We'll have to find out. Anyways, um, let's try that then. We're just gonna go back and we're gonna try having a team like that. I might keep, say, Onyx because he has some pretty powerful stuff. I mean, I would love to keep Magneton, but maybe it's time to make a change. Mmm, always hard to say. I mean, I really don't think I need Porygon as a thing. I would just like to continue to level up Onyx with what we got, because Onyx has that very powerful move. And it might seem more low on power right now, but we haven't applied our power charms, keep in mind. I just have a problem getting rid of Magneton because I'm like I love his setup so much. I don't want to risk losing stuff, losing progress. So we'll keep Onyx's setup um, and we'll start giving you some power stones. You are gonna hit mighty hard, depending on how we want to set you up. Like this has 2.2% hit healing. This is a good stone. And you're definitely, of course, gonna have your uh, triple bingo bonus. We'll turn this into health. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this so that we, that we can give you health there. I think that'd be smarter. And then this one right here, this has hit healing as well. Boom, that's gonna make you amazing. And then we can't give you any more health, we gotta give you damage. So we'll go ahead and do these two, I guess. So we're only giving up four damage for a lot of uh, extra stats, which is good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this one. And you are a scary Pokemon at 5,000 damage. Now the thing is, is that, what do we wanna do? Probably just do a, a Wait Wait Stone for both of these. I mean, we could try a Whack Whack Stone for Gust, but I don't know if that's all that great. So right now we'll do a Weightless Stone. Did I say it was a Weight Weight Stone? That's not what it is. Whack Whack Stone, not from you, but I guess from you. Oh, that does not make me feel right. Uh, and then we'll move on over to Jinx and see how things go there. Not for you. If I'm taking a look at everything, I need to move on over to this. This is a 644, this has some hit healing. You are pretty low on health, so whatever health we can chuck your way will be good like this, and then this damage stone, because sure, why not? Uh, 630 for the natural HP healing. This is natural HP healing as well. So you actually will be quite tanky if we you know, set this up correctly. This is critical hit damage, might as well. And then I have one more health slot. We'll go ahead and give you that 2.7% hit healing. And then, do we have any other healing from KO? Uh, hold on, not what I wanted. I don't know if any of these are hit healing. I'm gonna have to start trashing some of these if they're not. There's a 2.9, we'll go ahead and do this one. So you hit sort of hard. <laughs> I mean, sort of, yeah. So this one, effective duration goes plus 25%, but negative effect of the duration goes minus 25%, or like, it's so weird. I really, I think it just means it's 25% stronger. So if we did, Two of these, would that mean that it's 50% or would that be 25% of the, like would it add it to the total here and then do another 25% because I don't think that'd total up to 50. But then this right here, this uh, effect for buddies plus 25%. It's sort of a hard balance to strike, but we want to make sure it's really given to our buddies. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think that might be better. Yeah, we'll go for it. And then we'll just make sure that, uh, well, yeah, what are your bingo bonuses? Let's first check out the Onyx. He doesn't, does he have quite the, the triple, he does have the triple bingo bonus. Okay, I don't think there's really anything better we can give him at the moment for most of this. We'll have to take a double check. I mean, we, uh, no, not really. Okay, so, yeah. Your triple bingo bonus is movement speed plus 30, attack of rock type moves, and attack of rock type moves up to 35. Very good. And then if we move over to Jinx, what do you have? Icy t or ice type moves weight, which this is, you get a minus 5%. Yep, okay, very good. 
and then also attack of psychic type moves. That really doesn't help us right now. Water type damage taken minus 50%. That's always a bonus. Taking less damage is always good. And then finally, we have this Golbat who has hit healing, hit healing, and attack. Not bad, I'll take it. Because now we just have massive hit healing with him. This might be a good team. We'll have to wait and see. How is our score? 21,488, our highest score ever. So maybe we could tackle um, the next couple of levels. We can only hope, right? So with that being said, let's check out our quest real quick. Go to our challenge and get some big roots. They're always good to get. There we go. And we also get a couple more tickets. Um, I did get a new Pokemon. Oh yeah, I gotta do that one. Forgot to do that. Uh, we did get a Pokemon from the camp. It was Poliwhirl. So we're gonna go ahead and put him in our other Poliwag and see if we can't get ourselves a Poliwrath. So let us go ahead and find that one, if I can. This is our new one, the Poliwag. No, 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 okay, I got that backwards again. Uh, who do I like better? This Poliwhirl, what, what abilities do you have? I think you had some pretty cool abilities. Yeah, you had Surf and then you had Waterfall, which sounds great. And then if we double check the Poliwag, what do you have? Anything good? Uh, you have double and flail. I don't know if that's really that good of an idea. So I think we'll keep with what we got. So we'll go into training and level up our poly whirl a little bit, I think. See, so yeah, this guy, he's obviously the evolved version. And then we'll be able to get you one. Not too many levels, but hey, I'll take it. It's something, right? So boom, gotcha. And maybe that'll be close enough to get an evolution. We'll have to wait and see, but I don't think it will be. That'd be a health stone. Oh, here we go, here we go. Evolution for us. This is such a cool looking Pokemon. And we get, <laughs> he's all buff now, Polly Wrath. So that's another one for the Pokedex. Amazing stuff. All right, evolved into a Polly Wrath. I'll take it. I don't know when I'm gonna use him in a team. Might be a while because he's super low leveled compared to what we currently have, but in time. Now, if we could get our extra level for Onyx, that's gonna put stuff way over the edge for us. I think it's gonna you know, boost us by another couple hundred for sure, depending on what power stone we put on there. Probably getting us to 22,000. So just, it, it's nowhere but up from here, I would hope. But uh, for now, let's take a look at this. We have 116 out of 150. We're getting there, we're really getting there. It's beautiful. Okay. And I still have to level up like my uh, slow poke. That's something I gotta do. So let's see if these teams are any good. We're still at a power deficit here. We need to be at 25,000. It's just like, how do you possibly get those kind of good power stones? I mean, eventually, yeah, but it just, it takes so long to, you know, farm those kind of things up. So let's try this out and see how things end up going. We'll put Gust on you, we'll put Rock Throw. We gotta put this Aurora Veil on as soon as possible, because once again, it reduces the amount of damage we take, and things just get wild. And we can just constantly throw that out over and over and over again, because unfortunately it's our only move, but it might end up benefiting us depending on what other things we can end up doing with our Gust and our uh, Sandstorms and our Rock Throws. The Rock Throw totally messed, so don't do that. I mean, the, the Sandstorm, I did. Okay, so let's do their War Veil. It lasts for a while, so I don't have to do it constantly. Okay, so I don't know why he tried to do Sandstorm there when I pressed Rock Throw. That was weird. But like right now, we're not taking much damage because of the hit healing, because of the extra armor. We might just be able to out tank anything that goes in our way, which can be good, but can also be really bad. Keep in mind, we do have a time limit. If our strategy is just to out tank everything, we are going to lose because of that. Especially if Rock Throw never lands ever. <laughs> Okay, put another Aurora Veil on. It was about halfway through. Put on the Rock Throw. It says the cooldown is off, but that's not true. It's a lie. Why is the Gust... Uh, I don't know why Gust takes so long to restore. That's a little odd to me. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do Aurora Veil. So we're, like, we're hitting and we're doing something, but we're not really doing much. This is why I'm thinking we want to get Magneton back in. Just probably uh, over Golbat. Even though Golbat seems to have some powerful stuff with the uh, natural hit healing and the extra damage, He's not really having too many skills with that Gust having a forever and a half cooldown. I mean, he does have the double Gust. Is that why? I suppose so. I think he has double Gust. He has Whack Whack for Gust. There it is. Okay, so maybe that is worthwhile. Having a second evaluation. We're all already doing well. We're all at like full health. Why are you doing that, Onyx? I don't know. That's awful timing, buddy. Okay, so we need to wait for Gust to restore. Okay, everybody back up. Not bad. Get this on now. Let's get the Gust. I mean, Gust might not help out too much against these opponents. We'll have to wait and see, especially if they keep moving around like that. Come on, come on. See, like, that didn't do anything to us. Wow, that was amazing. 
So right now, it's just a matter of it takes us forever and I have to beat everybody up. It isn't like we're not taking any damage, really. So if we could maybe switch somebody out for Magneton, I'm thinking it might have to be Onyx because Rock Throw, while it is a damaging move against a lot of these opponents, it's hard to land. I mean, maybe against, maybe switch out Golbat. I don't know. It's like not a must have move. It can be helpful at times, but it can also be not so helpful. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ready? Rock Throw. This could be good. It should be able to get rid of that Scyther, and it does. Let's get the Veil back on. And then Gust. Okay, come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Just keep hitting him. Don't let him beat you up. See, like that did like next to nothing. It's insane. Okay, Rock Throw is gonna get you. Boom, boom, nice. The problem is we didn't get too much hit healing for that. So we have two minutes to defeat the boss, whatever it might end up being. So let's get to it. I think I might throw on Taunt on whoever it is. Okay, so it's going to be a Chansey. So the first thing we're gonna do is Taunt you. Which should be good, because we're gonna have the Aurora Veil as well, which will protect us, and then we can do this. Okay. Uh, I don't really know if uh, taunting really helped too much there, gotta be honest. Okay, so everybody's just beating everybody up, and once again, we are fine on health. It's just a matter of, can we actually output enough damage to beat these guys in time? Come on, can this actually land? Okay, it landed a little bit. Let's throw that gust out. It's sort of doing damage to you, which is nice, I suppose, but come on, we just gotta keep going. Keep going, keep going. Will we run out of time? We have a minute and 22 seconds. That's a lot more time than you could think. Uh, let's do Aurora Veil again. So Aurora Veil was a really good idea. It is crazy protective. Come on, let's do Gust. As soon as we can. That's gonna miss. Oh no, it didn't, it didn't. Good job, good job. Okay, she's gonna do her like little egg explosion. But that's okay. Okay, land these. There we go, that's some good damage. When it actually lands, it's some good damage. But it doesn't land often. <laughs> Come on, we have 56 seconds to defeat you. It's just us and you. We might be able to do it, we might not. You're not even at halfway though. We just do no damage, it's insane. So I'm thinking we'll go ahead and get Magneton back out for sure, because I just need it. I need that extra damage source. Oh, there we go. Yeah, run closer to us. See what ends up happening. We beat you up. 39 seconds, can we do it? It's getting so close. Maybe if I did taunt and then I did rock throw? That way she's like, you know, trying to get at us over and over again. Come on, do taunt, do taunt. And then do rock throw. Come on, not bad. Let's do Gust. Oh, we're getting you. We have 20 seconds though. Can we continue getting you? We need to, yes! Golbat finished him off. Maybe we should stick with this team then. 114 material, that is an insane amount. And we beat you, so hopefully we get a really powerful Power Stone out of that one. And is that gonna be our level 100? Not quite. But we finally did it, we completed World 12-3. World we got 729 Power Stone, Mighty Stone, whatever it's called. That is insane. Very, very good. So let's check that out in a moment. We have a new quest, and I think I know what it is. Uh, challenge, maybe not. Uh, if you 500 psychic type, Happenstance Island 3. Okay, never mind, never mind. Maybe we already did it, but I feel like there were quests for uh, doing things with you know 5,000 plus damage and 5,000 plus health Pokemon. Should we just try to hop in and do 12-4 then? I mean, what are we gonna lose? Might as well give it a shot. And you know, because of the extra battery slot we got last episode with the Mewtwo Arch, or whatever it's called, uh, it's like we didn't even do anything if you consider, you know, being used to eight slots or eight batteries, you know? That's pretty gosh darn cool. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put Aurora Veil on. So it's a very tanky team that's gonna be tough for them to crack. And that's really great for us. I probably should have put the damage stone on in hindsight, but in the meantime, I'll we'll make things work. I mean, so far, there's a huge group of enemies, and this is sort of our problem, is that we just don't have enough damage for any kind of crowd control. I mean, they could try Sandstorm here just because there's a lot of them, and it helps, don't get me wrong, but like, look at Jinx getting beat up because everybody's attacking her. Um, come on, do this, do this, do this. Boom, that at least got rid of one of them. This is gonna get rid of another one. Yeah, Jinx isn't looking so good right now. Okay, but she gets a lot of health back just for attacking. Come on, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Why did I always wanna beat up Jinx? I don't appreciate it. Okay, more wild Pokemon right in front of our faces. Let's do Rock Throw. None of those landed. I love Rock Throw when it does damage. I don't like it when it doesn't. But I can say that about probably all of my moves. Okay, come on. We're actually starting to get health back. Keep putting that barrier up. And keep attacking. Okay, ready, set, Rock Throw. Please land. Okay, that one landed, not bad. Now let's go ahead and make you do Gust over that way. You're getting some health that way. Aurora Veil. Come on, I don't know if it stacks or not. Probably doesn't, that'd be silly. <laughs> that'd be crazy. Uh. Come on, come on, ready? Rock throw. 
Nice, okay, those landed. Got those as well, and we got this whole group. So we got rid of the first half in before it hit three minutes, before it hit three and a half minutes, which is better time than last time for sure. So keep that stuff in mind. We now have this dude. We have the pincer and we have the scyther again. This is a common combo for whatever reason. Like that explosion did no, like it did next to no damage. It's insane. Okay, so what do we got now? Dodge. Okay, that did some damage, but we'll be able to heal it back up, I think. Which is just equally as insane. Okay, so our gold bot's getting a little beat up, but I think it's no big deal. Let's do Gust, because you know, you're just sort of facing that guy one on one, so we might as well give you some kind of support. Okay, so yeah, the Gust is getting you. I don't know why Onyx is changing his mind on who he wants to attack right now. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do Sandstorm or something. I just wanna be able to damage you. Might have been better to do Rock Throw. Hard to say. Come on, Gust, 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 Gust. That's landing, that's doing some damage. We'll do Rock Throw. Nice. Got it, come on, one more. Over to that guy, I guess, is okay. Oh, uh, we're almost out of Aurora of Hell. So we're making this work for sure. Oh gosh, dodge him, dodge him, dodge him. Nice. Come on, come on, do it. And then Gust, we got him, that's gonna take him out. But now we're down to two minutes to do the rest of it. But this might be this wave completed. Yep, that's the full wave completed. So now we just gotta have two minutes to deal with the boss. It's more time than last time. So I think we really could get a victory. Okay, so it's gonna be a double boss fight though to make up for that it's victory bell and vile plume. Oh boy, that might be too much. We'll try for it, of course. Whoa, one hit takedown, that's not good. Yeah, I don't know, we might run out of time. I need more damaging stuff, because I need it. Like, what more can we do? I mean, luckily, our Gust is doing some decent damage. Okay, so what can we do now? <laughs> more Aurora Vows, that's what we can do. Oh boy. Come on, Onyx is back up in just a second. Throw your rocks, heal you, or not heal you, but put Aurora Bell on you. Let's do Gust, that's not bad. Okay, so we got some decent stuff going on there. Come on, they're getting lower, but we only have a minute and a half now. That's gonna be a lot of time if it was one boss, but since it's two, it might not be enough. But as long as uh, those rock throws land, we have a much higher chance of winning here. Everybody's keeping higher on health for now. Let's go ahead and land the gust. That was good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we might actually do this. We're almost not even at a minute yet, so it's doable for sure. That vile plume needs to take more damage. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, let's get closer. Come on, we almost got our gust. That was very good. So that gust can land a bunch. I actually threw it on the vile plume. Thanks for the help. Rock throw. Oh, that landed. Get closer, get closer, Onyx. You can do it, get closer. Uh, Okay, okay, ow. Onyx is getting a little hit again. So I don't know why Onyx is so weak right now. Okay, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, we got it. So that was, once again, a ton of materials, 128 of them, and then we have a little bit more, and then we'll also get a third power stone. So that is one, two, three of them. And for that, we get almost level 100 as Onyx. Only guy gaining experience at the moment. 815, 722, 663. Not a bad collection right there, if you ask me. Effect of poison. Yeah, I know what poison does. And we got ourselves a brand new Pokemon, whatever this might end up being. I would love to see. I'm excited. Six out of six. It's gonna be a mud pie, so a ground type Pokemon, maybe a new Onyx. If it is, I'm gonna be sorta kinda disappointed, but at least get our current Onyx to level 100, that would be nice, or maybe we could just use it for love or move training now, finally. It just has um, rock throw. I don't know, hard to say. Uh, for right now, I think we'll just use it for level up training. Get him to level 100, and then we just don't ever have to worry about that. And if we ever have an Onyx, we can use it to train up a different Pokemon, or we could use it for move training if we want to try to improve Onyx's skills a little bit. So let's edit our team and see what we can end up doing. Because honestly, it feels like it's, you know, like, oh, it's only a little bit of experience, but it goes a long way. But we've now completed 12 3 and 12 4. Isn't that crazy? That's amazing. So let's go ahead and do this. Gonna get you to level 100. Seems like an ever so slight amount, but we've gone through two very difficult battles and haven't gotten it. So boom, get to level 100, and boom, that's gonna be a full Power Stone. That's amazing, because we've gotten some really powerful Power Stones recently. So we're gonna move back out of here and get ourselves another thing set up by, yeah, I guess going to your Power Stones. Can I do that from the screen? I can. Power Charms. Ooh, this is going really well, but I don't know, it could also go very badly at any point, so I'm like still nervous. So yeah, taking a look at everything, 
Who has the lowest base health stone? Right now it looks like you with 667, but let's check everybody. You had 667. Uh, you have 652. And then, is that gonna be the lowest? Because whoever has the lowest gets a new highest base uh, health stone. Uh, you have 636. So you have the lowest, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move back and give you the 815. And now the new lowest is that uh, 652. So what we're gonna do with that one, of course, is go back again and give you the 700 one. Oh my gosh, isn't that insane? That is so much. And then we have the 663 power stone. Who has the weakest power stone that's a base out of the bunch? Um, I'm gonna say it's looking like Onyx has a 583, but it's for the hit healing. Okay. Hmm. Who has the lowest base damage? It's gonna be Jinx at 635. Okay, so let's move back to Jinx. And before we give her that 635, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all the way back and cycle through these. Well, I mean, get rid of her 635. Cycle through some of these, because like, I know this one has hit healing at 2.6, but it's, it's just so low damage at this point, I don't know how helpful it is. If it doesn't have more than a 2% hit healing, I'm definitely going to dump it. Okay, so just I'm trying to make sure these get equipped so that they can be unequipped, and that way we can just get rid of them. Um, so where is that 663? Is our highest damage stone now, which is something. Our highest unequipped damage stone. And there we go, there's a little bit of a bonus for you. So let's go to the recycle page, or the recycle option. So this one has 1.4. This one doesn't even have that. And some of these up here, I can definitely dump. That one has a 1.3, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, so that should be good, nine out of nine. That'll get rid of a good chunk of them. We get some good materials out of it. So very cool. Now we have an all three level 100 team that's boosting us to 22,496 and hopefully we can just get more and more and more, but I don't exactly expect to get too much more done. We've done so well. How can I expect to get even more levels completed? We'll try, see what ends up happening. But we got 12, three and 12, four completed. We still have to do all the way up to 12, nine, technically. So we'll keep going and see what ends up happening. But I'm gonna guess this is where things are gonna start falling off the edge. I don't think we're gonna get 12.5 done today, but what a good mark of progress. You can tell that just a couple level of 100s can really get you something far. But now it's a matter of optimizing that. We need to choose level 100s that have the best bingo bonuses, that have the best current moves. You know, that's gonna be where things get complicated and difficult. So we're gonna go for it no matter what, of course, but it might take some time to find what those right Pokemon are. And once we find them, we gotta level them to level 100 if we can, if they're not already. Okay, so I got a couple of those guys, just like that. Ooh, we're getting rid of this group pretty quickly comparatively to what we normally do with this, this small group that starts things out. So that's a good sign. I love this song. But uh, there's wave one done, it's a quadruple wave. I think everything in World 12 is four waves, so that's not too much of a surprise. We'll do a Roar of Veil. As always, try to throw that whenever I can, especially between battles. Let's do Gust in just a moment. Nice, okay. That's all right. Uh, getting a little overwhelmed, but the double gust has been great. I actually like gust as a move so far. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's a good looking damage stone. Whenever it has that symbol, that's been like the highest level of stuff we've gotten so far. Okay, we wasted a gust there, but it's not the biggest deal in the world as long as it can turn around and do this one there. Very good, that's gonna attack somebody. And then just do this to damage some of those guys a little bit. Maybe not entirely worth it, but it is a lower cooldown, so might be better. Come on, let's try that again. Okay, wait, why did, did Jinx do Sandstorm there? Or was that probably the Clefairy or whatever this is? Clefable? I don't know, maybe Jinx has like some kind of weird mimic move where she does something the other teammates do. That'd be really cool. I don't think so. Whoa, we got the Nidorans. Come on, let's do this. Let's do Aurora Veil, make sure it's on there. Nice and good. There's a lot of action we got going on. We only have a couple minutes to make our way through. We need to get rid of these two and then do the boss, which might be a double boss, which will take a lot of time. So, lots of action heading in front of us. Come on, let's do Rock Throw. Rock Throw, Rock Throw. That's actually a good distance for it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's landing okay. Let's do the Gust. It's working. We actually are getting through these guys, but we need to do it within the next, like, couple of seconds, so that might take too much time. Nobody's getting at risk of getting taken out, unlike last time, where things were getting a little nasty. We got taken out, like Onyx got taken out during the boss, which was not good. Come on, I'm trying to get that Nidoran, not working. 
Uh, oh, okay, actually, you are really damaged. We gotta be careful about that. Jinx, make sure you have that roar bell on. Hit your second gust, please, please hit that second gust. It didn't land. Okay, Onyx, you need to protect your uh, Golbat friend who's just hitting the wrong direction. I don't know if he was confused or something. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. It's just an inner run. Just an inner run. Aurora Bell, come on. Just keep getting them. Land the gust. No, worst timing ever. We're about to hit the gust. Come on, just hit you. Do we really need to? Okay, thank you. Okay, wave cleared, but we don't have our goal bat just yet. It's just gonna be one boss. It's gonna be the Aerodactyl, which might be super duper tough. We don't know. Now we might get a flashback, or um, opponents might start. Oh gosh, bad timing. Oh, you have like a doubled up rock throw as well. <laughs> But um, uh, like opponents might appearing a little bit later on, not right away, which is always scary, but you never know. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the roar bell back on because that's starting to run low. Okay, come on. Rock throw, rock throw. Oh, you knocked me back at the perfect time, you jerk. He's not gonna land any of that, is he? Ugh, that's a shame. Okay, come on, keep going. Go back up there. Put that aurora bell on. We're gonna keep beating you up. Get that gust on you. What I like about gust is it seemingly, seemingly will go any distance to hit its opponent. Okay, oh, those rock rock throws are gonna hit, at least the first two will. I'm thinking that we might have to get rid of one of the whack whack stones for rock throw, because this just never really pans out the way I want it to, or at least doesn't most of the time. Dodge, oh, okay, you didn't dodge, but honestly, it didn't do as much damage as I was thinking. Usually that move does a lot of damage. Come on, not bad, not bad. Come on, come on, not bad. Okay, everybody get more of the Aurora Veil. Come on, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. We're about to win, but we have 58 seconds left. We have enough time then. Um, let's do rock throw. Even if you land that, it should be fine. We can do gust. Yes, we got you, 12-5 completed. Maybe we got lucky, maybe we didn't, but we got 96 material and we're getting so much more and another power stone. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that could be good. Let's find out. So no experience for anybody, but it's sort of, you know, at that point. We do have 2.4% hit healing at 887 health and a 745 damage stone. This is where we make our Pokemon more powerful than ever. It's crazy. So we need to utilize that as much as possible. We're gonna go into that and this right here and see what ends up happening. Who now has the lowest health stone? Because we can give them something better and probably has just as much, uh, hit healing. So the person with the lowest health right now is going to be Onyx with the 2.9% hit healing. That's gonna be worth the trade, I think. So let's move over to Onyx, um, who's right here. And we're gonna keep filtering like that until we've omitted all of the uh, not so great health stones. So the 482 is gonna get out of here and we're gonna get that instead. That is so good. So now who has the lowest damage stone? That would be Jinx for her hit healing. But then if we keep moving forward, what else do we have as an option? Um, looking like Golbat. So we can go ahead and switch that out. That'll be very good because his gust already hurts a lot. It's gonna hurt more if we throw some of this stuff on. I mean, if we wanted to really maximize this, he has that critical hit damage plus, we could just end up replacing the lowest damage of these, which is the 669. Not bad, not bad one bit. And then it looks like some of these guys might have some lower damage based damage stones compared to the 669 that we could re you know, replace. Not for you. But for Jinx, we can get, I think it was a three damage boost, which hey, maybe one day three damage will be all the difference we needed to win, so let's go ahead and throw that on. Okay, very, very cool. Things are getting crazy with how powerful our Pokemon are getting. What is our total score? Now, not gonna be too much higher, but now it's at 22,983, so almost at 23K, and we're, I mean, this is gonna be over 10,000 of a difference, so is that real? Oh, I didn't mean to do that, whoops. <laughs> I was seeing, you know, I, I just, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, could we back out? I mean, we could, but that'd be a waste of energy. We might as well just try again. If not anything else, we might get some extra damage stones out of it so we shouldn't waste a bit of battery, you know? Let's go, oh wow, forgot the Aurora Bell. I always have to do that first. Always have to do that first. The Gust is so good. At first I was underestimating Gust, but now it's sort of proving to be a really good move. Oh, we're paralyzed. That's gonna be tough. That can make things really bad here. But if you could still land Sandstorm anyways, thank you. You're like, I'm paralyzed, we'll do it anyways. Cause I'm tough and I'm cool. Gust has like a great possibility of hitting multiple targets, especially when we have uh, uh, it with the Whack Whack Stone. So there we go. We had a bad start there, but because of the Aurora Bell, we backed up and then we're able to heal up. So good, so very good. I am so happy with how powerful our team is right now. See, if you've been making your way through World 12, or better yet, if you've completed World 12, I would love to hear what team you did it with. What three Pokemon are getting you through the game better than ever? 
That sounds like a cool topic to hear about. So we did okay there. Yeah, I think that I will change Rock Throw though, so it's not triple. It's just one Whack Whack Stone and then a Weightless Stone or something, and be good. Let's go ahead and do that. Is Gus gonna land from way over there? Oh no, he's actually attacking somebody over that way. Okay, good to know. So yeah, you got rid of somebody. And then we're just gonna focus on these guys. So go ahead and do this if we can. The Rock Throw should get rid of that one. And then this one, and we should get them. Yeah, nice, good job. So three, three and a half minutes remaining. We should have two big guys now. That's usually how this flows, is that we'll have two big guys to deal with. Yep, we have a Butterfree and Beedrill. So Rock Throw now should be good. It was all right. Oh, that one missed, but this one should not. Boom, boom, nice. Okay, so that wasn't so bad at all. Come on, do the gust. Is the gust gonna land? Did you even do the gust? I don't know, that was weird. Uh, we almost got another rock throw. We need to defeat these guys pretty quickly or things aren't gonna go very well with the boss fight. Okay, now you're throwing the gust, even though it said that it was available. I don't know, that was, it's just, it can be a weird game at times. It says that nothing happened when something happened. Okay, come on, they're both halfway down. So now's our chance really to make a difference. Rock throw, rock throw. Oh, throwing at, at both of them, huh? Okay. Throw that gust out. I swear he did the gust on his own there. That was weird. Okay, come on, we almost got the bee drill. We can get the bee drill. He's a bee drill. Come on, come on. Uh, Rock throw. Nice, okay. Oh, that one missed. Can we get one more on them? Oh, that definitely landed. He's definitely throwing out the gust on his own there. That is so weird how he does that. Oh, that does so much damage when it actually lands. Crazy stuff. Come on, Sandstorm. Oh, that wasn't bad. Keep going, come on. We only have two minutes to defeat the boss after this. We really gotta get it going. Nice. Okay, so what is our boss fight gonna be? Please let it not be a double boss, because if it's two minutes, we should be able to just beat one singular boss. Oh, it's the Venusaur. The problem with this is he has a lot of little friends. That is gonna make it difficult. So, rock throw for sure. Get rid of as many as we can with this grouping. They're all grouped up. So once again, Gust is gonna be great as well, if it actually works. Is it working? Yeah, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, the game is slowing down a little bit, but we can do it, we can handle it. I think we can. We're at a minute and a half. Get rid of that Bulbasaur, get rid of those Bulbasaurs. Keep moving. Come on, come on, get rid of that one Bulbasaur so we can fully focus our energy towards the big Venusaur. There we go, there we go, there we go. Healing that uh, Golbat back up to full. You're dizzy for a moment. Oh, we're landing so much damage on you, it's crazy. Okay, so which move are we gonna do next? I mean, the cooldowns just last a while. Come on, come on. Oh geez, ow. That sort of hurt, gotta be careful. The Gust is such a good move though, I love it. Cause it just stacks things up like crazy and then when we actually combo that up, oh, with a uh, Rock Throw. When it's a really big opponent like this, the Triple Rock Throw is amazing, but it rarely is a big opponent like this. Don't hit, okay, that's fine. It didn't do too much damage. And we're just gonna be able to beat you down with 44 seconds remaining. What a beautiful sight, and we'll also get another triple power stone. I think this might actually be my grinding level, and this might be my grinding team at the least. We'll be able to get so many power stones with this combination of uh, Pokemon. Six, uh, 868, 842, 677 is meh, but those other two, they make me burp out of excitement. I'm sorry, that was uh, inappropriate. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can equip those anywhere. There's definitely gonna be a spot to equip an 868 damage power stone. Let's just find out where that is. And then this is just a resistance to status conditions, but it's good. Um, so yeah, who has now the lowest base damage? You have a 669. So, and then we also have the 677 here, which is you know not the best in the world, but it'll be better than something for sure. What that is, we'll have to find out. But, hmm. I mean, I could give you the 677, just like that. That'll give you a little bit of a boost and then focus on some other people. Maybe that's not the most effective way to go, but it's the way I'm going. So you have a lot of low base, so we'll just go ahead and boost that to an 868, and then for one of these maybe, the 722, we can turn it to an 842, and then Onyx can use that for something, because he has a couple of health stones. He has a lot of health stones. Uh, what is his lowest one, 667? So we're gonna change that into a 722, and we're even more powerful than we were before. It just gets bigger and bigger, it's awesome. 
in our 23353. So yeah, we, we gained a couple hundred from that one. Move on over to Happenstance Island 12.6, and let's see if we can not make a dent in it. So far, we've been able to do these well when it comes to actually surviving. It's just a matter of the time. Are we able to beat out the clock? And if we can just keep doing that, let's get the Aurora Veil on, because if we don't have that on right away, it can get real nasty. The cooldown on that is fantastic, though. Okay, so wild Pokemon are coming in. We're gonna do Rock Throw, we're gonna do Gust, and hopefully they'll just group up as much as possible and we'll be able to make this move work. That's what it's supposed to do. Come on, all you guys are trying to put, in the, put us to sleep, which I don't appreciate. I think I might do a lot of Sandstorms then. I think it'll be better for damage. No, go back to sleep. Sandstorm, quickly, we gotta get rid of these guys. Oh, and you're poisoned over there, so that's not good. Come on, Golbat, we need you to survive. You can't get taken out by these guys. This might just be unluckiness, though. So we can't just sort of, you know, decide after one go at this. So even if we fail right now, I wanna try going for it again and see if we can get a better combo. Uh, Aurora Veil, sure, just put that on as much as we can so that when we do inevitably get put asleep with that, it won't be too awful. Okay, we got rid of a couple more. We're almost there. Let's just do Gust, let's just do Gust. And then we got one last one, but no Onyx is asleep right at the last moment. Oh, they're both asleep, it's just uh, Golbat. But you should be able to get them just with that. So can we just wait around until you guys are awake? Go back, go back. Wild Pokemon are about to show up. So that was definitely a, a big time killer for us, is uh, all of that sleeping. What do you know? Sleeping takes up a lot of time. Okay, so why can't we use your, okay, there it is, Aurora Bell. Like it was like grayed out for some reason, which was concerning. That's happened to us before, where moves just get grayed out for no reason. Come on, come on. So these guys really are focusing on disabling us and it's working very well for them. Uh, come on, come on, you're resetting our cooldowns over there. With the gust? Like that was almost up and then it got reset. Come on, come on, come on. Heal yourself up with more gust. And then Jinx, go ahead and throw another one of these on before you're too confused to do so. This is turning out not so good because remember, we're still against the clock. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. See, her cooldown reset as well. That's just something that happens. And then do Gust. Come on, we need you to do Gust so you can get some of your health back. Jinx, you need to hold on for just a little bit longer. Dang it, that's gonna be bad. Come on, just take this guy out real quick then. And we don't have our War of Val, so we'll have to make the most of this, but we have the big Nidorans. Oh boy, I think we're gonna run out of time. We'll have to wait and see. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? <laughs> the whole screen's shaking. These guys are that big. Come on, Aurora Vale, you need to last us for a while here. Okay, so we're doing okay. Okay, here she is. Put the Aurora Vale on right away. Very good. Okay, we're back to form, to like, to some extent. Uh, keep throwing that on, just in case you get taken out again, because these guys are hitting really, really hard. Come on, we need you to gust. We need you to gust before we get taken out. No, no, you, 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 you. Why aren't you doing it? Please do it, please throw it. You're throwing it the wrong way. There it is, there it is, there it is. Heal yourself, heal yourself. Oh boy, they're all attacking him now. He hasn't even taunted. Boom, boom. Put that fail back on. Even though uh, Jinx is at full health, so that's pretty good. Come on, I need to do the gust again. Come on, come on. Okay, so we almost got rid of one of them. But he still has a little bit more work to do. Come on, get rid of this jerk, don't miss that, don't miss that, okay, we got rid of him, good job, good job, it's just this guy, let's earn some health off of him if we can manage. Oh, come on, he's gonna explode, that's bad, that's bad, oh, he got rid of the Golbat again. I probably should've dodged, but he. I know the Golbat wasn't gonna be able to get away from that, he would've just ran into the wall. Dodge this, dodge this, good job, good job. The problem is we have a minute and a half to defeat the boss after this, we might be able to do it, we might not, we'll have to see. Golbat's almost back up. He's gonna have to join in afterwards. Okay, here he is, here he comes. He's coming. Oh, it's gonna be the the dude, the Farfetch. We've dealt with this boss before and we've been able to manage it. So let's hope that's the case this time. Uh, that Gust is not gonna reach. That was really silly of me. But for right now, these will reach, so we might as well make the most of that. And in the meantime, you're healing yourself back there just by you know hanging out and not getting hit, which is nice. So let's just keep that going for as long as possible. Come on, come on. Let's do rock throw. Okay, so Farfetch sort of gets all up in your face, which is really good for us. Okay, so that Gust sort of missed. <laughs> so it sort of actually does benefit uh, to be farther away with the Gust, I've noticed then. It's not that it just goes right to the opponent, it actually does have a specific distance. It's just larger than normal. Okay, got some of those. He's down to halfway. We have 30 seconds to do it though, can we? Oh my gosh, you dodged at the worst time there, buddy. Come on, hit that Gust. That's gonna hit, that's gonna do some extra damage. We might be able to do it, but it's down to the wire. 20 seconds remaining. Come on, come on, we can do it. 
Oh gosh. Land more of those, good job, good job. Oh ho ho, those are hurting, that's for sure. 10 seconds remaining, 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh no, 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 no. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. It's gonna be so close. No, get back here, you coward. You, ah, oh, you went for the time. You little stinker. Should I go for this? You know, we'll just go for it, what do we get? Probably not anything super crazy. There were two base ones I probably shouldn't have. Oh, I just need something to make me feel better. 922, worth it, worth it. That's almost a thousand health in one stone. That is definitely our highest health stone ever so far. But what a pain in the booty that was. We were so close. Uh, we weren't so unlucky earlier on. That was as close as you can get without actually doing it for sure. So for right now, you have an 815. Who has the lowest health right now? You had 4,500, you have 29. I think we definitely need to boost Golbat's health in any way we can, so if we can do this, that'd be great. I mean, I know we want that 2.2% hit healing. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I mean, we might just have to, though. Okay, we'll, we'll just stick with this. It's a little bit of a boost, which is always good. And then does any of you have any other base healing stones? I mean, you do have a couple, so we could just go ahead and give you a direct boost like this, and the next one is the lowest is that one. That helps, okay. It's something. I think, like, I'm still on the fence about the double whack whack stone. I feel like it's actually working pretty well sometimes. I think that we could do that again if we tried again. So we're gonna try again, and then we're also gonna recycle some stones. So 2.6% though, 2.6%, 2.9%. We can get rid of these. Yeah, we can get rid of these, okay. Uh, so that's four out of nine, not bad, got it. And then Onyx, you know what? We'll try it, we'll get this. Oh, I can't do that because, oh no, I'm still in recycle mode. What else can we apply here? Besides that, we can just do the uh, spread stone, but I don't like the spread stone, I never really have. So we'll try that out and see how things end up going. Go back on in, we aren't done yet. Don't care how much of a power deficit we had, we were so close to winning. Pokemon can apparently grow to level 100. I know, we, we have three of them right here. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. And this is maybe a better setup. I mean, take a look. We have a different set of Pokemon that hopefully won't put us to sleep, won't give us a hard time in that way. I'm doing uh, Sandstorm for now. I probably should stick with Gust though. Uh, just keep putting Aurora Bell on. I mean, I was doing the same so I should stick with Rock Throw. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, put on that Aurora Bell, because it'll just restore more quickly now, which is really appreciated. Come on, come on. Got it, and then those two over there. I got them, nice job. Well, there's one left over that way, but that's fine. It's a Spearow, I think. Come on, we're doing all right, but we need to do better. We need to do better. Stop running away, you coward. This is, these guys, like, they're not even tough. They just drag out time a bunch, which is super duper uncool. Like, you're just a coward, you're scared. Come on, get you, get you, get you. Just hit you with anything. I can't believe you weaved in between that. There's a first wave done, we have four minutes remaining. Let's keep moving, guys. Aurora Veil, wild Pokemon are coming in. Let's do this, let's do the gust. Proud the gust was already thrown out. Okay, if you say so. That's just weird. He really does just throw it out whenever he wants, even if I try to do it myself. I don't know how I feel, but just two rock throws now. I don't know, I'm still on the fence about it. Ooh, we got a new health stone there, that could be good. Come on, come on, let's keep going. Let's keep moving. Nice, come on, one more. Oh, we got rid of one, working on the other. Keep moving. We can get him. Just beat him up normally, if you can. I mean, we don't do too much damage to actually maintain something like that, but I'll try. Gust, yeah, Gust is working. Gust is working something good. Got him, okay, so three minutes remaining, two more waves, we got a family of Abra and Alakazam, no, this is Kadabra and Alakazam. Come on, come on, let's do this. Jinx can take a fight, so I'm not too worried about her. See, sometimes the gust actually stops when it hits an enemy, sometimes it doesn't, it's a little odd like that. But we're beating these guys up, one after another. Yeah, landing on some of these guys. I think these guys have really close range, so the, the rock throw actually works good against them. Let's put the, oh, the Aurora Bell's off, jeez. I was not paying attention to that, I need to be better than that, come on. 
So it's once again a race against the clock, but these guys are much easier to handle than before, and we haven't had anybody getting taken out, which is really nice. So I think we'll actually have time, if it's a singular boss, to really take this guy down. I mean, I didn't mind the far-fetched boss. He was pretty easy to deal with. It's just a matter of uh, surviving that long was not easy. Okay, uh, Aurora Vale, where are you going, dude? We wanna th sandstorm ya. The sandstorm is okay, it did land a critical, which is nice. Aurora Vale, come on, come on, rock throw. Rock throw, you get back here, you scaredy cat. You're not even a cat. I don't know what you're supposed to be, to be honest with you. But definitely not a cat. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're almost down. You actually took a lot of damage from our sandstorm because of how you teleported. And there we go, we have a minute and 44 to get rid of a giant Snorlax boss. Okay, I think this is our first time battling a Snorlax as a boss. Very cool. Oh, and he's, he, oh, he's sleeping, because that's something he does, and he's healing because of that. I forgot how Snorlax works. Okay, so he's constantly healing himself back up because of his sleeping, so if we can out-damage his heals, I don't know if that's possible, so it's one tanky team against one tanky boss. Okay, he's doing something. I don't like the idea of it. Oh no, he just put himself back to sleep. Gosh darn it, maybe that was a bad idea. We should've just kept attacking, because he's back up to full. Is it gonna actually be possible to attack him? Maybe I should try using Taunt? Maybe that'd be better. Like, let's try using Taunt when I can. No, it, it's restoring long cooldown. Okay, uh, let's do Rock Throw then. And like, we're lowering him a lot when we actually focus on damaging him, but then he just goes back to sleeping. What in the world do we do? We would need to put him to sleep. Wow, this is like the unluckiest boss we could have gotten. Okay, so the moment he wakes up, I'm gonna land the Taunt, and now he's attacking instead of sleeping. And maybe I just need to keep cycling Taunt. Why does Taunt have such a long cooldown? It didn't before, did it? Oh my gosh, this is impossible. This is impossible without like sleep from, like putting, but no, putting him to sleep would do what he's doing right now. Like if we could paralyze him maybe. I don't know if this is actually possible. I'm really scared. I think we, we're gonna lose one round of time because he just keeps healing himself. Like what more can we do? I mean, I wanna keep damaging him, but it just pops back up. I mean, maybe he makes himself more vulnerable to damage every time he does it, but I think he just, it's unwinnable unless we have certain Pokemon, which is totally bogus. Like that's totally uncool. So like I taunted and didn't even do anything. Or did it, because the, the, the skills are glitching out again. Like it's, you see how like taunt isn't grayed out, but Gust is like, that was bizarre. That was weird. I'm not gonna spend 30 tickets for one, but I, oh, you know what I'm gonna, going to. Uh, Was it worth it? We'll find out. Uh, yeah, pretty worth it. 860 or 832 is pretty good. Anything over 800 is still worth my tickets, I think. So, oh, we got ourselves a brand new Pokemon as well. What is this one gonna be? Hopefully something good. I'm just getting unlucky with the boss fight so far in this area, though. I think I could do it. I've gotten so close both times now, but I've just been a little unlucky. So this is gonna be a Mulligan, which means it's another Diglett. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Uh, we got 81. Not too bad, I don't like his moves, of course. He doesn't even have a sharing stone. Oh, he has a green one, which uh, boosts it, but it's just growl. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and level up train with him. I think it'll be our best bet. And then, of course, fill this thing up with some more goodies. We have 999 for a lot of stuff right now. We're also still depositing a lot of stuff. And one more battle until we have two more cooking pots. So we're definitely gonna keep going until then. In the meantime, let's go back out. I could go ahead and do the Diglett stuff, but I wanna wait till later. All I worry about about the moment is just winning. I mean, I wanna get that power, that health stone I just got as well, so. Who has maybe a relatively weak just base stone? And I'm just gonna apply that, because it was a bronze health stone. So you have a 922, well that's a little too high then. Let's try the Onyx. Because what does it do again? I think it adds critical hit. Yeah, it's critical hit damage, which is always good. So if we land a critical with our rock throw, gonna do more damage now, which would be great. So let's try that out and see how things end up going. It might be good, it might be bad. Only one way to find out, that's to hop back in. <sighs> We've gotten so close now. How much closer do we have to get? I really don't know. Okay, so we're here now. This is another new one. Okay, do a roar of L. Gus was an okay move. It was good timing, I guess. Okay, now we got a bunch of Zubats, we got a bunch of Sandshrews. Like right here, it says my rock throw is available. It's not available, I just used it. I really don't know which was like the glitchy AI. Not the AI, the UI. 
user interface. That's what it is. Okay, <laughs> now artificial intelligence, that's what AI stands for. But yeah, I do not appreciate it. I don't appreciate how it's sort of sloppy at times. There's only so much I can do about it, but I'll do what I can to survive. Okay, got rid of that sand true, and got rid of that sand true. Good timing so far, more than four minutes after the first wave is really nice, which probably means we're running into something scary soon. But we're gonna keep going until that happens. And we got evolved sand true, or uh, sand slash now, and we also have a uh, gold bat instead of a uh, zoo bat. So interesting theming. Uh, we had a confused Pokemon there, it's Onyx, and uh, Jinx together are both confused, and that's, once again, something that's gonna not really put us at risk at losing, well, I mean, sort of, kind of, because it's gonna slow us down, and that will, but we're not gonna get taken out because of it. They're not gonna lose all their health, I don't think, but what will definitely happen is we'll lose time, and I need the time more than anything with this team, so we'll do what we can, but we'll have to wait and see. Come on, come on, come on. Get rid of you, you're almost done for, so if we could just get rid of the Sand Slash, focus on the Zubat, that'd be great. Got him, and I guess we'll do Rock Throw, just to finish you off quick. Okay, so three minutes and 27 seconds to get rid of, the, rid of the wave three, which is going to be a golem. I'm very impressed with myself, I can remember all these names. Okay, Gust, where is Zubat, by the way? He's just over there for no, he's just chilling out. Okay, dude, I guess there might have still been a Pokemon over that way. Maybe one came to us. Can you get closer, Onyx, before I do this rock throw? I would really appreciate that. Okay, so that Gus is gonna miss. I just have to do this and see what ends up happening. Usually it's not really based on his location unless he's really far away, you know? Okay, so we got a Power Stone out of defeating that Geodude, which is nice. Okay, so we can get rid of this guy pretty quickly, but if we get a Snorlax again, it doesn't matter. So things are gonna get a little scary here, I think, depending on what we end up getting. I don't know why Zubat's facing the wrong way. Oh, no, he's not. He's just a weird looking Pokemon, so I thought he was facing backwards. Oh, we're all doing rock throws. Rock throws everywhere. Come on, come on, come on. We can get you, it's just a big golem. Whoa, he just like practically one hit our goal bat. That is not good. So that puts us in a bad spot because we're gonna be just doing less damage to you. Come on, come on. We can do it. Golbat's almost back up, but then we'll have only about two minutes, if not less, to deal with the boss fight. So let's hope it's an easy boss, or a boss I can just handle like a normal boss fight for once, instead of Zubats and Farfetch was fine, but everything leading up to the Farfetch was not. So like that's where the tough part comes in for that one. Come on, you are almost out. We can get you, I think. Aurora Veil, please work, please. Two minutes isn't a lot of time, and it's less than that now. One more, one more. Do the gust if we can. Oh, come on, you're almost taken out. Please get him, please get him. Yeah, good job, everybody. What is that boss fight? We have a minute and 40 to do it, so whatever it is, better be easy. Oh no, it's a double. Him on Lee and him on Chan. Why is this so tough? I think we've reached our limit with 12-6, but I mean, we got so close to beating it. We just need a little bit more, you know? Come on, let's do uh, Aurora Veil. I'm sort of regretting, you know, spending the tickets on the, the stones last round, the one stone we did, because I'm gonna want it for this round, <laughs> because we got two stones already. If we can beat, beat him, we'll get three, but we'll have to wait and see. Come on, let's just go, go ahead and do Gust, do Rock Throw, land please, we got 7,000 there. Are those landing? Those were definitely landing. If we could all just focus on one guy and take him out, that'd be so much better, but we don't wanna do that. 50 seconds, just about, do the Rock Throw, that's landing all right. I think it would be better to have the triple though, so I think I'm gonna go back to that. Do the gust, the gust is landing really nicely. She's sort of holding back Hitmonchan, so at least we can focus on this dude. Oh, okay, turning around on him a little bit. Do the Aurora Veil whenever we can, whenever the opening is there. 30 seconds to get rid of both of them. It might just work, it depends. Come on, hit those. We're actually sort of cycling through our moves. Okay, I say that the moment I say that, he misses it, misses it, so. That's not good. 20 seconds, we're not gonna be able to do it, come on. Why? I don't understand why we're able to get so close, but yet not able to do it. Come on. Well, 10 seconds and nobody has our attacks. So we could try with a different Pokemon, but I think it's just about getting lucky with what we end up going against. We're so close though, no! Jeez, <laughs> the map's just like, look at this thing over here, look how there's nothing. Ugh. No, I'm not gonna take it. I don't even need the extra health, I need extra damage, so not gonna take it. I'm gonna keep moving. I could just try again, because I think I need two more battles. No, okay, I got these two Pokemon now. 
Okay, so what's that gonna end up being is the big question, these two. Uh, that's a mulligan, not a big surprise. Two Pokemon, please, another Onyx. So we could use him for just about anything. We could use him for uh, not love love training for our level 100 Onyx, but maybe move training if we wanted to. Or maybe even better yet, we could use him for a different Pokemon. I think that's sort of something I'm leaning towards because I don't mind our Onyx's moves. And then we got Mulligan's to all a cube. What do we get, what do we get? Oh hey, I think we have you, but not a very high level version of you. No, you're just Jigglypuff. I thought you were the Clefairy or whatever. Okay, so you have sleep as well, so you're not really all that much better than the uh, one we already have. So I'm probably just gonna use you for training for our already existing Wigglytuff, so nothing too exciting with that. Let's just go back this way and get that. Auto set it, not bad. So I honestly might use that Onyx's level up whatever Pokemon I can that might be close to an evolution. Like that would be fun, I think. So if I just take a look at my Pokedex, I might just sort of see like, hey, come on, I don't want this. There we go. Uh, I might just say like, hey, where is the next spot open for my Pokedex where that might be an evolution and just work towards that. So for right now, Weedle, Weedle for sure. Okay, so Expeditions and see what we can do about, not Expeditions, at a team. <laughs> Wrong thing, silly me. And then we'll try one more time for today's episode. Can we defeat the evil level 12, six? I don't know. It'll take some work for sure. So for right now, where's our Wigglytuff? Right there. And then we have our Jigglypuff. And that'll be a good couple levels, six levels for you. Okay, sounds good. Boom. Remember when she was like one of our highest level Pokemon? Those were the days. So here's our Onyx, don't really need it. So we're gonna try to find the, where's that Weedle at? Because we did have a Weedle. For sure we had a Weedle. I mean, yeah, we didn't get rid of it. It's level 45. So we're just gonna put the Weedle right here and then move back and try this out. Level 77 Onyx gets you a couple levels. That's gonna get you an evolution, which is nice. So we can try this out. Boom. And you should evolve into something. I forget what. I don't think it's straight in the Beedrill. I think you get something else, but that's your second uh, thing. All right, look at how happy you are. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna evolve. Look at me. <laughs> All right, it would be cool if we got Beedrill, but we get Kakuna. That's what it is. So honestly, I'm trying to get more of my Pokedex done. While I could use this Diglett for level up training, I think I might just, I mean, I will use him for level up just with a different Pokemon. Uh, I mean, do we have any other new Pokemon? Not that I haven't already used for training. Actually, that coughing. I mean, then I'll also get some level. It's sort of all in the same, so we'll just go ahead and do the Diglett. And boom. What do we end up getting? It should be that Beedrill, which will be very cool. Beedrill's an interesting Pokemon, but out of the cocoon is a bee. And I'm pretty sure bees don't normally come out of cocoons, but this one does. He's so happy. He's like, yeah, look at my long legs. I'm gonna sting ya with my Beedrill. All right, there's another one. That's, that's two more additions for our Pokedex, which is so super duper exciting. I mean, if we wanted to do anything else with that uh, other thing, uh, maybe we should. But there's a couple more evolutions we can get around here for sure. Um, and I'm thinking the next best one, if we go back into training, I know, I know. Uh, with that coughing, you know what I could do is we have the slow poke somewhere around. Where is that at? The slow poke is right here. He's level 24, he can definitely evolve more than what he's got. So we're gonna get this back to new and go all the way back over to the coughing, and that should get you a level up, a couple, six actually, okay, very good. We're gonna do that, you're not shiny for sure, so we can just keep, boom, moving past you. And that's gonna get you to level 30 and hopefully an evolution. You do not have a very good spray of power stones right now, I can tell you that much. Not an evolution, what more do we have to do to get you to your next evolution? I'm pretty sure you evolve, maybe you don't. I don't know, at least not in Gen 1. This is the big difference maker, a lot of people forget that, but that this game only has Gen 1, so. Uh, with that being said, one more shot at this. Can we beat it? We better. I just, I don't know, it's been so tough. Three times now where it was 
really close. I mean, I guess it wasn't too close for Snorlax, but it was pretty close considering the fact that it was, he was unbeatable for our setup. Like, literally. Like, we could have had all the time in the world. Yeah, I wonder what, yeah, I guess it's sort of interesting that they do have the timer, because we would have literally just been stuck there forever, I think. Unless we just got really lucky with like crazy crits or something, but I don't know if that would have been even possible, or the chance is so low. I don't know. For right now, though, we just have a bunch of bird types that we're dealing with, a bunch of flying types, I know. And we seem to be doing an all right job against them. Oh, I missed that, which is really bad, but I didn't miss that one. Good stuff. Come on, keep attacking you. Is Golbat still fighting somebody? I guess he was. Okay, not bad. Got our first wave done with four minutes and 16 seconds. It really just is like a matter of what we follow up with here. Because it could be good, it could be bad, depending on all of that. Okay, so you have your second gust you're throwing out. While that's happening, we almost have our next rock throw, which will be very good. Ready, boom, boom. Those landed. These two will land as well, getting rid of a Persian. And then a gust. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. And then rock throw. Nice, we got rid of another one. And the Metapod. Now we just got one Metapod to worry about. Everybody beat him up. Oh, we got two stones already. Look at that. Maybe this will be the one. I don't know, though. It's taking a little while. Come on, land these two. That helps, but you have so much health. It's insane. Do the gust. Like, anything to get rid of you quickly. Even if it's a matter of, like, it might be a bit of a waste of cooldowns, but it can also be helpful. So, we got that. Our rock throw is already back up, and our gust is gonna be back up. Okay, not by the time we fight enemies. But it's just Eradicate and some Ratatos, so I think we can handle this. Aurora Veil, get that on now. We got our gust up in just a moment, so go ahead and try to, oh, miss that entirely, I suppose. Come on, get rid of these Raditas any way you can. Why did, how did you miss that, Onyx? They're right in front of you, dude. They're solely attacking you. I don't understand what more I could have done to help you out. Do the rock throw. Do it, thank you. Land more than that, please, you're, you're destroying my heart right now. Like, now it's just Onyx's fault that we're losing because he's missing all of his rock throws over and over again. Maybe we should just do Sandstorm. Maybe that'd be more helpful. Maybe that's my fault anyways. Okay, so did he get rid of them? I think he did because they're not here anymore. Now they just decided, he just decided, you know, I don't want to join the, the fun now. I'm bored of fighting these guys. I'm bored of you fighting them too, so land your shots, dude. Come on, get rid of the Raticate. I can't believe you're paralyzed. Do the rock to him. I don't care what you have to do, just get rid of them. They're two Raditas. You're a level 100 Onyx. What is your problem? I don't understand I could be having this much of an issue. So much to, so that like Jinx is getting concerned. Like, is he okay over there? He's just off camera. We are gonna lose because of two Raditas right now. This is seriously happening. This is nothing but bad luck. Nothing but bad luck. Come on, come on, come on. Where, he's still fighting them. Like, this is insane. The fact that this is something that can happen, that the Onyx can get stuck on two Raditas, and you're taken out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening? The Onyx got taken out by two Raditas. This game is evil. Just pure evil. That's not fair. I just don't understand. Like what? Like I've I've played so much of the game now, and it's just like I still don't know what you can do in that situation because there's nothing you can do. And I, I thought that was the Onyx, so I made him do the, the rock throw. So that's just another uh, missed rock throw on the list that you can add. Jeez, what what is with the world's power most powerful rats that we got going on with right now? Get rid of him, thank you. You only play well when you're on screen, apparently. I don't mean to be so mean to my team, but they're letting me down when I needed them the most. It's just insane, we have one minute left to deal with what? Three bosses this time? Three Dodrios like before? Oh my gosh, Charizard! We haven't dealt with Charizard as a boss before. That's cool, but disappointing because I won't have enough time to defeat him. I mean, maybe if we're able to just land all of our shots and get a lot of group damage John, just maybe we could do something. Okay, so unfortunately it looks like there's burn on Onyx, so that's gonna do a lot of extra damage to him, but we're already doing a good number, but oh, Jinx is really getting taken out over there. Come on, I need everybody to sort of group up a little bit, and I think the opposite is happening, to be honest with you. Uh, this is not gonna work, we have 30 seconds. What can, what can we do in 30 seconds? Nothing. We could, you know, fiddle around with some Raditas for another hour. Like, ah, oh, that bothers me so much. That literally every attempt of 12-6 was honestly beatable, but we just had ridiculously bad luck. Like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> we just gotta keep trying over and over again until we get lucky. It's not even that we have like a, pe like a damage deficit, it's just that they keep on introducing things that waste our time enough that we can't defeat the boss. We've gotten to the boss every time. 
with regardless, like not regarding the time, easily. You know, it just happens over time. <sighs> that is so lame. I'm actually gonna take this one. I know I've wasted a ton of tickets, but I need more damage because we're not getting through this enough. And I think that next time I'll try with Magneton instead because I need that extra damage coming out. 833 is fantastic. I'm glad I took it, but I don't know. I'm so upset with Onyx right now. So very upset with him. But hey, hopefully we'll be able to make more progress in the next episode. We got a good chunk of Pokemon. We got closer with our full Pokedex. I know that if I did one more battle, I could get more uh, cooking pots filled up, but that's always gonna be the case. 118 out of 150 now. We also got our first completed page in the Pokedex, I think. Now we gotta get Pidgeotto evolved, Nidoran evolved. Again, uh, Nidorino needs to evolve, Clefairy, Vulpix, uh, Psyduck, Mankey, Bellsprout, Tentacool, Slowpoke. I'm pretty sure he can evolve, but gonna be a while, I guess. Ghastly can get, go into, I think, something here, and then Gengar. Drowsy, Cubone, and then I think Cubone again, maybe? Or no, maybe that's him on Lee right there. I don't know how to get him on Lee. Okay, we'll have to figure that out. Maybe it's just Lucky. Goldeen, I think, can evolve. And then Staryu, I think, can evolve twice, maybe? Electabuzz might be able to evolve. Hard to say. Don't know who's in this slot. Uh, Lapras cannot evolve, so this is a different Pokemon. The Evolutions, I think they're called. Porygon, Omastar, I don't think it can evolve anymore, so I don't know what these are. This is where it gets hazy for me. Uh, we'll find it all, hopefully, in time. It's gonna take a lot of work, as always, but that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Quest. If you want to just put a video, make sure you comment Zebra Jinx, so now you've watched to the end of the you are a Zebratastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.